There are many skills that you're going to learn along your mountain bike journey, but today we're going to be talking all things endo. Yes, the art of combining using your front brake and shifting your body weight around to lift up the back end. So let's get into it. Probably one of the earlier skills that you'll learn in your uh, journey into the world of mountain biking when it comes to messing around in car parks and jibbing about learning all the other different skills out there. There aren't too many uses to the endo, but that doesn't mean it's useless. A couple of great examples where you'll see an endo implemented out on the trail, you might see some pros at the races, things like that, endoing around turns. Now they're doing that because perhaps the turns are actually too tight to get around conventionally, or you might be out of the bike park and you see some steezy kids doing big nose manuals or something like that down the trail. All of that requires the skill of the endo. So here's how you do it. Let's talk about the area or the surface that you're gonna need to do for endos to begin with. Well, a nice open, fairly level space a smooth surface, nothing too, too loose or anything like that is perfect to learn on to begin with. Loose ground, well, potentially when you come to lock up the front wheel, it could skid and cause you to go all wonky. If you're going downhill, that can actually help because it's already shifting your weight forwards to, to lift that back end up. That's something we'll get to, so if you are. But trying to do it uphill, not so useful. Good, solid, flat ground is what you want to get into. All right, let's start at the beginning then. You're gonna to want to be rolling along at a nice steady pace, nothing too quick, nothing too slow. Pedals level, body position in that nice neutral riding position, so a slight leg bend, a slight arm bend. Your butt's gonna be just above the saddle, maybe slightly behind it, looking ahead. So that is, that's your starting point essentially, just cruising along like this. Now, once you get that mastered, you're going to want to start applying the front brake. Now, you can do this fairly firm and sharply. What that's going to do is going to get you the feeling, if you like, for your body weight shifting forward. You'll notice as soon as I jam that front brake on, my body weight goes forwards. It, it just naturally does that. By getting used to that feeling, when we progress further into the motion later, you're gonna already have in your mind what that's like and what it's gonna feel like to then carry on the rest of the motion. Okay, steady. Ooh, steady speed, front brake. Whoa, you see what happened there? My weight was actually a little bit far back. And when I jammed the front brake on, cause there was no weight near the front, and the ground is a bit loose here, the front locked up and skid a little. So let's try that again. Right, you've got that sorted and you can kind of start to feel that motion. You can feel your body weight going forward a little bit. You've sort of got that uh, mindset of, your, of what kind of happens when you do put the front brake on quite firmly. Well, we're gonna take that to the next step this time. So we're gonna pull that front brake with a little bit more intent. We're gonna actually actively try and shift our body weight forwards. Now, when you do this, the pedals are gonna to wanna to stay nice and level. You'll pull the front brake with either one or two finger, whatever you're more comfortable with. But remember, here is where we wanna try and keep our, our body, our upper body position nice and firm. So nice, strong arms. Keep that slight bend in them, but we don't wanna flop onto the handlebars and headbutt the ground or anything like that. So we wanna come along nice and steady, pedals level, get that front brake on, and actively push our, our weight sort of up and forwards as if we're going to throw over the bars, but we're definitely not. So you don't want to go too far there, just so that your, your head goes up in front of them, arm strong, and you'll feel the back end will start to go a bit light. So now, let's do that. Ooh! Okay, do you know what? You may have even start to feel the back end lift up a little bit there. So now I think we need to uh, take it to the next level and actually get an endo going on. So this, we up the intent a little bit more. So you've got that front brake dialed, you know how it feels now, you know what happens when your body weight shifts forwards and how to stay strong on the upper body. We'll start ever so slightly squatting into the endo. So as you pull the front brake, you'll squat into it, pull the front brake and almost pop diagonally forwards, up and out the saddle over the front of your bike a bit. You'll end up naturally pushing your, your toes will dip and you'll push back into the pedals. This is gonna force your feet into them and give you some grip so that you don't just 
hop up off of the pedals and you'll feel again just good firm on the brakes and the back end will just dink, lift up ever so slightly now the faster you go the harder you pull that brake and the quicker you pull that brake and the more you throw your weight forwards well this is what's going to give you a bigger endo all right we're going to roll in steady covering that brake squat forwards oh there you go cheeky roll back didn't mean to do that but here we go squat brake forwards and you can see my head just sort of going in line with the axle of the fork if you like and my body weight my butt just coming from that behind the saddle position to just in front of it throwing that weight forwards is what's bringing the back end of the bike up <laughs> <laughs> Such a, an over-the-top endo. ET endos. Ready? How many pedal strokes can we get? Oh, there's two. Uphill endos. This is why you don't go uphill, because it's a bit harder to get the, the back end up. Oh, jib life. Incoming endo and oosh. Oh, right. There you have it then, the endo explained and broken down for you. Hopefully with enough practice and enough repetition, you'll get that dialed in because it's such a great skill actually to learn for brake control, shifting your body weight around. And actually I've got a little bonus bit for you when it comes to shifting your body weight around. Like I said, you've probably seen people do these endo turns and stuff like that. So for the endo turn, just very briefly, when it comes to doing those, set up a point on the floor and try and endo turn around it. So when you pop an endo, you then start shifting your hips, your body weight around, and you'll use your arms to actually turn and pivot the back end of the bike around. I'm not gonna go too much into that now because there are videos out there that we've done where you can delve into this linked below, but it's something for you to have a little bit of fun and a bit of play out. But that's it. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If there are any more basic skills you'd like me to teach you, well, let me know in the bottom below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you later. Cheers.